Hi, my name is Richard Bromwell and I'm a director and auctioneer here at Charterhouse in Sherbourne, Dorset. And I'm going to talk to you today about our auction of wine, port and spirits coming up on Wednesday the 18th of May 2016. Now, we've had a little bit of a look around, a bit of a tot up, and there's some in excess of 5,000 bottles. So we're going to have a usual sort of whistle-stop tour through. Now, the first wine to show you here today, um, it's a bit of a classic, really. Classic as far as I'm concerned, because we have some... Super plonk. Now I've got to be honest, we've got the feet, Chateau de Cam, we've got Margot, we've got all the top top wine producers, but we've also got some super plonk. We've got a huge selection of what I call the good, the bad, and the ugly, and there's some of the very tasty and maybe not so tasty as well. With regards to super plonk, I just think what a great name. It's a bit like the um, the, the wine fashion they had a couple of years ago, this sort of great with fish. But in, in amongst the wine, we've got lots of port as well. We've got some cases of port. This is a, a, a some Kuta vintage port here. It's 1999. It's just six bottles, and that's estimated between 100 pounds and 150 pounds. Nice little presentation case. We've got here a big collection. There's 29 bottles in this lot. So you've got some Cava, Martini, Cinzano, vodka, 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 gin, 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 and a big lot like that. Estimated probably around about the 50 to 80 pounds. So a lot of this is very, very affordable and probably very drinkable as well. Now, this has got an interesting history because this all came out of a garage um, up near, up in French, up near Bristol. The owner had passed away and he actually had three bars in his house. And also, because there wasn't enough room in the house, he kept a lot of his stuff in the garage. And we've got a couple of thousand bottles out of there. So uh, quite a, quite, quite amazing. He obviously enjoyed a good, a good tip. But coming on down here, we've got more cases. Also have a look underneath the tables. We've got all this old vintage wine as well. We've got various mixed lots. We've got Burgundy, we've got Shiraz, we've got Chardonnay, you name it, it's pretty much here. Again, over here is another big lot of whiskey here. I'm personally, not a, I'm more of a gin and vodka man, but a lot of 10 bottles of whiskey there. You've got famous grouse Jewers. Again, 10 bottles, estimated between 50 and 80 pounds. So again, there's, there's actually a lot of Christmas presents and birthday presents there. Coming on down through here, this is one of my favorites. Lot 19 here, Chateau de Cam, 1990. That's a bottle that I'd certainly like to open. Oh dear, uh, ching ching, uh, open and share with my friends there. Coming on down through here, this is good as well, the uh, Gloria saint julien here, uh, 1996. Uh, a very good year, I think I had a child born in that year. Coming down here, we've got some Bezic whiskey decanters, they're still full of whiskey, we've got Glen Morangi single malts and bits and pieces here. We've got a lot of Barolo as well. There's a huge amount of Barolo um, here. This is 1958 and a lot from the 1950s and through to the 1960s. Um, probably still all right, probably still okay to drink. Coming down here, more wine, more wine, lots of wine, lots of whiskies as well. We've got a big collection of whiskies that I'm gonna come on to in a minute, uh, including a lot of little, little miniatures here. Just the sort of thing ideal for that sort of a mid-afternoon little snifter on the train, isn't it? You can kind of, you know, sort of put that in your pocket and enjoy it. Um, then more wine, more Barolo. This is actually owned by an Italian count years ago. Uh, it's always quite sort of interesting where we get bits and pieces. We've got Penfolds Grange here. Again, good couple of bottles worth a couple of hundred pounds, just for the two bottles there. Coming on down here, we've got some more modern wine as well. Again, a lot of this is, um, people have various reasons for selling it. And this we're selling for a, a client over in, in Essex. And we've got nine bottles of Grey Goose, estimated around about a hundred pounds. I can see a lot of you are sort of pricked up at that. We've got half, um, half a case of Moet Chandon here. We've got more champagne, champagne, champagne. Lots of champagnes here. Um, here we are. A Jeroboam of Louis Rodera champagne here. More Louis Rodera champagne. Just ideal for Christmas. That's when you don't want your friends to stay too long. And over here, we've got some of the Latash. And again, this is the Monopole here, 1981. I think there's five bottles. There's around about four to 600 pound a bottle. So there's, there's individual bottles at hundreds of pounds and there's big job lots as well, estimated at more modest sums. Again, more wine port cases down here. Laura Perrier, got some pink champagne there. More port, Coburn's, Wares, such a huge amount. Obviously some Dom Perignon, I think there's, there's, there's more Dom Perignon, there's lots of Dom Perignon dotted about, here we go. Again, this is ideal um, uh, as present for birth years, so 2004, so you know, if you've got a, a, a godson, goddaughter, an ideal present to give to them for a few years. This is one of the older bottles here, 
and uh, this one was actually buried um, in Paris during the Second World War. So the uh, the owner was concerned that the Germans were going to come in and uh, steal all his wine. And a bottle of Pauline cognac like that, that's estimated between £700 and £1,000. We've got more Moet, and bits and pieces. In here we've got a fantastic collection of whiskies here. Um, all highly specialist. All across the top there, they're probably two to three hundred pounds a bottle. They're all very academic ones here with your 58.4% alcohol by volume. And what's this one here? 64.95 and 60.2. And through here, again, more first casts, more Middletons, lots of really specialist whiskies. And people are buying those for investment. They're also buying them to drink. But also, we're going to put loads of bottles up everywhere here. I'll quickly take you through to the back sale room. Just to show you, what do we have in here? We have more bottles. I see when you've got over 5,000 bottles, um, it's quite a logistical nightmare to get them moved, but we've got them all sorted, they're all catalogued. You can see them all on our website, www.charterhouse-auction.com, and you can do live bidding as well. Then back in through here, we've got more, more burgundy, more claret, we've got cases, we've got pot, pot lots of wine. We've got job lots, and uh, a lot of these cases, they've all come from a big country house over near Taunton, and a huge, huge wine cellar that we've uh, removed from there. The client is downsizing and is moving and decided that basically she's not going to get through and drinking all the wine. We've got more of these mixed lots from the garage that came um, up from near Bristol. And then just up through here, we've got some, um, we've got some of these. These are all, you see a huge amount of these. Um, sadly, they're not worth a great deal. They're the old Bell's uh, whiskey decanters. The, uh, the, the the owner's parents, they bought two sets of these. They've cherished them, they've looked after them, they've kept them in wrapping up and everything, and they're still worth about eight quid a bottle. So I think we've got about 25 of those in one lot. And guess what? We've estimated them, I think, round about the sort of the two to two to three hundred pounds. And then again, more wine up through there. I mean, it's all a bit of a usual sort of Walk, walk and talk around the wine, port and spirits. If you're interested in wine, port and spirits, we do hold these sales on a regular basis. As I say, this one's coming up on Wednesday the 18th of May. You can view all our lovely lots on our website, which is www.charterhouse-auction.com. And of course, you can do live internet bidding through that as well. I hope you all enjoyed it, a bit of a walk and talk. And uh, this is our first day of a three-day May auction. And uh, we're going to do another video in just a minute for you to have a look around days twos and threes. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've ever got anything to sell, you can always give us a ring on 01935 812277 or ping us an email info at charterhouse-auction.com. Hope you enjoyed the walk and talk. Thank you.